I'm Richard from Musen Art. It has been a while since we posted our last hands-on video of Art Knives. This is because we are preparing for something extraordinarily brilliant. And today here it is, the most magnificent piece in 2019 Art Knife Invitational, an ultimate award winner in the 2019 AKI show. This ultimate work is called The Golden Goddess, was created by two ultimate masters, Barry Lee Hans and Tom Aubrey Ender. Barry is beyond question, the world's most prestigious metal engraver. He's also the president of the Fire Engraver Guild of America. He has created a new style of engraving, including the Renaissance leaf patterns, which is one of the most recognizable, exclusive, and well-known design in gun and knife engraving, pursued by millions of collectors and influencing artists worldwide. Tom has made art knife for many decades, has won countless awards, and he is famous for his high standard in accurate engineering and machine work. For many years, his work has been prized by most discriminating collectors, and today, we are honored to witness the masterpiece of their joint collaboration. First, let's look at the display stand, made from Wedgwood and African Patok. On the southern finish lines, all the words are hand engraved with a golden name highlighting its name. And this is a custom made carry bag for this dagger to fit its ultra wide handle. The maker information is also hand sewn to reflect the uniqueness. Let's take it out and put it on its display. I call this piece Ultimate because it may be the biggest knife project in both artists have achieved in their long, illustrious career. In Tom's 40 years of knife making, this is the biggest and largest time consuming project. As for Barry, the gold engraving covered large area, including the guard, the ricasso, the pommel, and the black jade handle. Speaking of the blade, it's a very large size. The overall length is 58.5 cm and it's made from RWL 34 stainless steel. The mirror polish grinds are flawless. There will be always comparison between the Damascus and the mono steel. However, to illustrate perfect beauty from the blades, mono steel is always more difficult to master since it's a very low tolerance of error. Damascus, though beautifully patterned, does not reveal the precision grind lines as well as mono steel. In mono steel, there is no place to hide. As you can see, Many of the top makers' signature pieces are constructed from mono steel. This blade is long and elegant, with very neat and clear satin lines. You may also see the smooth change of the width of the center groove from the wide to narrow, which includes beautifully mirror shine polishing. This is Tom's signature workmanship. As the blade is the most important part of the knife, the side of the ricasso are also treated with mirror polishing, allowing us to clearly see the precision of Tom's work. This enormous guard was designed by Barry, made from a single piece of 416 stainless steel. It looks like an angel wing from this direction, and like flower calyx from this side. The biggest highlights of the attractive shape made possible by Tom's craftsmanship. Thickness in the center is 3 cm, but in both ends measures only 3 mm. These changes are dramatic but also harmonious and smooth. It gives us a shocking visual experience and a richer three-dimensional expression. The handle material is made from a very fine piece of Wyoming black jade, the best quality could be found, for its purity and ocean-deep darkness. This jade is very hard and difficult to carve, but Barry has invented a proprietary technique for jade, which allows him to work freely, blending the solid 24 karat gold into the jade, leaving his signature gold current leaves shining in the black abyss. Let's come to the most beautiful part of this piece, Barry's signature engraving. On the guard, Barry gave the surface the gray satin background, allowing the 24 karat gold Renaissance leaves of perfect canvas displaying their brilliant shining contrast. While he works, Barry mask off all the areas, like a surgeon, to keep the work neat and clean and to keep the surrounding areas pristine and free of mark of blemish. This work also features massive quantities of diamonds on the center of the engraved leaves and with Barry's paved diamonds on both ends of the handle. They light up all this gorgeous scenery, even on the pommel. The drama of the massive curve and the difficulty of Floyd's work entails reflects the ultimate complexity of their craftsmanship. Finally, the scabbard, featuring beautifully designed lines by Tom. It is a hardwood scabbard with velvet cover to protect the blade on the inside. It features metal bar at throat and tip and premium leather covering the exterior between them. Barry used Renaissance leaf style of engraving, chiseled and sculpted into the steel, revealing the current scroll of leaves and flowers on the French gray surface. In addition, there are golden leaves on the tip, the bolt, and diamonds are used freely on the sculpt steel leaves on the scabbard. In general, to protect the blade from scratching, we don't put the knife in and out too often. Let's put it in and show the beauty of a magnitude.
And finally, let's end today's video with our professional photos. Thanks for watching. I'm Richard from Views and Art. I will see you next time.